Main Street in Middletown. Dog food bags, cat food bags. Where we find a college professor, an abstract art project, and yards and yards of discarded plastic. Yeah, so this is the sperm whale. It's going to be 60 feet long and 20 feet high. It's an old Woolworth store turned studio where the whale work is well underway. And I'm hand sewing onto it with film plastics. These are the kind of plastics that are difficult or impossible to recycle. University of Hartford professor of economics and international studies, Kat Owens, is stitch by stitch trying to send a message. This project is called Ingested and Entangled, and it's about the sort of animals that are affected by marine debris. I'm a National Geographic explorer, and one of the things they talk to us about is how you share a message and how you tell a story. When COVID hit, Owen's research projects abroad were put on hold. That's when this idea took shape. These are all the pieces. To create life-size portraits of the 46 animals most affected. A lot of the gray. By harmful plastics. Is actually the inside of white mailers that, that we all get all the time. Months in the making. When this whale project is done, it will be 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and looking for a home. I'm looking for a wall that's 60 feet long and 20 feet high uh, that, needs, that needs a whale. Learning the basic whip stitch, school kids also join in to help with the project. One that's turning trash into treasure and treasure into teachable moments. The message is that plastic surrounds us and things need to change or it's going to cause huge problems for the environment. In Middletown. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.